uh, Twin Cities Media talking with Stacy K. So big night for you. Yes, very much so. Very good. So you have the CD coming out. Um, it's actually being released today. Yep, today. Online today, and this is the big party. Awesome. Out into the open. Awesome. So Hotel Colfax. Yes. So give me a little idea of um, kind of the inspiration behind the album. Right. Well, I used to actually live off of Colfax Avenue, just down the way, okay. and um, I kind of named the building Hotel Colfax because myself and all my roommates were mu musicians, and we'd have host a lot of shows in our basement and yeah, all that kind of stuff. And then the landlord sold the building, so we all had to kind of disperse, and um, it's kind of my, I don't know what word to use, my um, homage, if that's the right word, of that time in my life. So, Awesome. Awesome. So um, there's a song on there that, uh, that I listened to actually on the, on the way over here, um, Stubborn Man. Stubborn Man. Yeah, Stubborn Man. So tell me a little bit about that, that song. I mean, it, 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 may be, it may be very obvious about what the song's about, <laughs> right. um, but let's get a little insight. Sure. Um, well, I would say it's personal. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was about a relationship I had. And the funny twist I feel about that song is it kind of like I was the stubborn man. So I was the one who ended the relationship and he, he was the one who wanted all those things. And yeah, but that's kind of how it came around, you know. Mm -hmm. Nice. So now that the album's out, <laughs> yeah, now that the album's out, um, you know, is there plans for to kind of tour? I, I know you're local to the Twin Cities, right. um, but is there a plan to, to play at other venues throughout the Twin Cities and maybe outside of the Twin City? Yeah, I don't have anything scheduled yet. Actually, the only thing I have scheduled is to hit the studio right away again in October um, and put out a, a full length. So that's kind of more of my plan, but always down to play any of the clubs around town. And then I love going to Duluth and um, Mankato, Wisconsin, that kind of thing. So, so your your fan base. I mean, you know, what would you say that your kind of your your target demographic is? Hmm. Um. Well, let's see. I guess I kind of don't think it, it's age restricted. Um. I kind of have a love of writing in more of the the realm of the 1970 kind of uh, nostalgic rock and roll-ish right. type of thing. So I feel like that maybe hits a certain demographic. And then um, people who like songs about real things, hopefully. <laughs> so, you know, in just listening to, um, listening to some of the album, um, one of the things that, that seems very reminiscent is... Um, there's almost an influence of like folk music. Um, it, it's very deep in that um, in that kind of folk sound, but there's also some very diverse sound in it as well. Um, when you when you sit down to write, um, do you typically write about you know the personal experience? Um, are there are there other things that that kind of inspire you to to write? It's a little bit of both. I feel like some of it can kind of come out just at random. I'll be doing the dishes, and I'm like, oh. Oh, I have to go right sit down quit doing this and and kind of strike why the iron's hot um, and then I like to challenge myself too and not write specifically about myself but maybe something I observed um, so it's kind of intermixed really so the ice house is a nice little venue yeah. um, very very personal very very quaint um, is that the type of venues that you typically like to play something that's a little bit close-knit um, or do you like playing something a little bit larger maybe outdoors um, I like to play both. I've had experience in both. I would say this kind of setting is perfect for a release just because my music is more lyrical. Um, and it, it can, but it also offers to the people who are just there to have a good time and want to not really just like the beat or something, you know? Um, but yeah, I would say more theater setting and that kind of thing is more of the direction that I'm aiming to go. So... So with, um, uh, with people that maybe aren't familiar with your, uh, with your music, um, where, can they, where can they find the new album? Um, and maybe where can they find out more information about you? Sure. Uh, my website, it's Stacy the K, S-T-A-C-Y, the K, dot com. I'm on Bandcamp, Facebook, uh, Twitter, 
all of the online possibilities. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So, and what about the new album? Is the new album about album available uh, through electronic media? Mm -hmm. I have both. Um, it is available today on Bandcamp and then soon um, on iTunes and all of those online sites. Um, and then also in town at uh, the Electric Fetus and such. So, so people can actually get like a, a physical copy of it as well? They can also just email me and I'll send them one, you know. Awesome. That's even better. Right? That's even better. All right, well, this is Dave Rabin uh, from Twin Cities Media, again, uh, talking with Stacey Kay, um, doing the CD release party tonight, and big night for her. Um, so if you guys uh, check her out online, uh, again, you want to plug the, the Sure, stacythek.com. Excellent. Um, check her out online. Uh, I'm sure you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised at the, uh, at the music. Um, hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, visit us at twincitiesmedia.net slash blog. See you soon.